want to ask you, since you are trading and you know all these graphs and you know, like, you're supposed to know when is next bull market, right? Yes. Tell us, tell us, please, that, you know, when is bull market. <laughs> I've got like, so in my head, I have certain parameters that I want to see for me to know that there's a bull market. But I'll, I'll make it very clear to you right now, like, as there's two different things, there's, there's analysts and there's traders, and they're two completely different things. Being a trader, you don't need to know where the market's going to go. They, you, you, have, you don't have to know anything about which direction the market's going to go. Actually, all you're doing really is just buying and selling support SR levels and basically just putting the probability in your hands of which way it might go. All you're doing is you're just making it so, okay, the probability is it goes this way. I don't, I don't know if it is going to go that way, but it's a higher probability it goes up than it goes down, so I'll make a trade on that basis. So traders in general, what's that people game about? Tra traders in general, we don't fucking know whether we don't care where the market's going to go. We all we're doing is just basically putting the odds in our favor to make a trade on the back of that, that kind of analysis. Okay, I will rephrase my question. How does yeah. it look right now? Does it okay. look like we're going to bull market, or uh, we are no, like so, stuck okay, in yeah, this? So the just to, just to finish my what I was saying, so like, so the traders, we don't need to know where the price is going. We're just putting the probability in our hands to give us some sort of edge over a long period of time, give us some sort of like percent on terms of that. And, I, and I, obviously, I, in my channel, on my channel, I give my hunch. I say where I think it might go, but that's not a strategy to go on whatever, whatever, whatever right. someone else is saying. But in terms of being the analyst side, I would say that I think that Bitcoin is not going to jump out of this very quickly. I think it's going to be three to six months of down and flat, uh, probably go into some long-term bottoming out accumulation zone, um, probably for longer than most people think. And I think that crypto will flush out either or side of people being aggressively long or aggressively short. Everyone loves to be a bull or a bear, right? But sometimes markets just go flat and then everyone's like, well, who the fuck am I? Like, they don't know what to do. So like, I think the market's going to be, who am I for a while? And everyone's going to get bored out of the trade yeah. and then that's going to reset momentum in a case everyone's going to come to a consensus saying i don't really know and then the accumulators come back in the sellers are out and then generally speaking there's accumulators and then the buyers begin to over tick over the over the sellers and then we just see some nice organic linear higher lows high highs good volume profile looking like back above the 200 day moving average is a good example that's the thing which a lot of people look at and then maybe look at some stuff like what are the momentum indicators doing you know Things like RSI, stochastic RSI, looking at TTM squeeze. These are the things I look at. Just like, just good general ascending slopes. We want to see ascending slopes, not descending slopes. And then that's um, generally what you're looking for. But my overall parameter of a bull market would be high lows, high highs, increasing volume, and above the 200-day moving average. And that would be, for me, good enough. But we're in bear market territory right now, for sure. Bear market for fucking at least three to six months, I think.